Two of the 2013 NBA Finals. This is Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. The Miami Heat will host the San Antonio Spurs on Sunday night. Opening tips scheduled for 8 o'clock Eastern time, Eastern time on ABC at American Airlines Arena. The Heat opened as six-point home favorites. That number has been knocked down to five and a half in the market, while the total has risen from 186 and a half to 187 and a half at SBRodds.com. The Spurs picked up a 92-88 victory as five-point road underdogs in Game One on Thursday, going under the total of 189 and a half, despite the fact that both teams combined for 101 points in the opening 24 minutes. The first game since May 27th for the Spurs, they came out sharp. They opened up with a 9-2 lead. The Heat then called a timeout and took the lead early on in the first quarter. But the Spurs definitely displayed the fact that they are ready for this best of seven series. Point guard Tony Parker scored a game high 21 points and he was paramount in keeping the team from not turning the ball over as the Spurs finished with just four turnovers over the 48 minutes of action. Also, the Spurs outscored the Heat by nine total points when power forward Tim Duncan was on the floor. He was out of the second quarter with foul trouble for most of that period. He picked up two fouls in the first quarter, but Tim Duncan really brought it on the defensive end, not just on the offensive end, as the Spurs held Miami to 40.7% shooting when Duncan was on the floor. When you look at Miami, I think they just simply ran out of gas in the final uh, 12 minutes of this game, given the fact that he scored 16 points in the fourth quarter, coming off a brutal best of seven series against the Indiana Pacers that went the distance, a very physical series that I think took a lot out of the surrounding cast around forward LeBron James. That includes shooting guard Dwayne Wade. He came out on fire in the first quarter, but he has held scoreless in the fourth quarter, finished with 17 points, but he's gonna have to be uh, Robin to Batman of LeBron James if they're going to beat the Spurs in this best of seven series. The three previous times that this duo, the big three, Bosch, Wade, and James, have gone on to lose the opening game of a series, they've gone on to win the next four games to win those series. So if you're looking to play the series price at a lower number, this is definitely the time to buy in if you're a buyer of the Miami Heat. The Heat have also won 10 consecutive games following a loss from a series betting perspective as well. If you're looking to play San Antonio, they are 20 and three in best of seven series when winning game one in the Greg Popovich era. So definitely a, a key statistic if you're looking to grab the Spurs who will likely still be an underdog to capture their fifth NBA title. With all that being said, I'm going to look at the total. I really like the shots that both teams were getting. The Spurs missed a lot of opportunities in the lane, while Miami had a lot of open looks given the fact that they were playing off LeBron James because they had to protect the rim. LeBron James knows that Roy Hibbert is not in the middle of the paint in this series, and I think he's going to be on the attack. He's going to trust his teammates at the beginning, but if he can't get any of those guys shooting from the outside and hitting those shots, he'll just take it to the rim himself. I like the over, over 187.5 and Game 2 of the 2013 NBA Finals. This has been another edition of Across the Board here at SBRForum.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at Jeff Grant Sports.